G'day guys, in my last video I made this thing, which I called the Cobra Spa Bar, because it's a bit like a spa bar, vertical spa bar as opposed to the horizontal one, and lately I've added these sections here, which is basically pull noodle cut lengthwise, and each half just put around like that, and it creates a sort of nice rounded section, I've just taped it, so that's all it is. But what I like about this addition is that this kind of gives a really nice target to punch. And then the top part of it here actually is the part that comes back at you. And you've got to dodge that, that section, not just the main sort of bag portion, but also an extra portion at the top. And this works really well. I'll demo it in a sec. But first, I just want to say I'm going to try... A speed bag. I made an adapter that I will use. It's basically a coupling, a PVC pipe and a coupling. And I've put some holes in the coupling and that goes on there. And then the bag is gonna go on there. I'm gonna use some zip ties through the through these holes that I've made and through this section here to hold it all together. So I'll do that in a sec and I'm gonna try that out to see is this gonna be a better alternative than this. So first, I'm going to have a bit of a play with this. All right, so just the uh, pool noodles with these extra bits. It does punch back, so, and that's what I like about it. You've got, to, you've got to either dodge it or put your gloves up to protect yourself. because it does come at you. So it, you sort of start, you know, putting your gloves up as it comes back. I think the speed is still pretty good. So, yeah, I like it. I like it quite a lot in for a number of reasons. Number one, this makes for a nice target. You've got this section here as well, um, and it's fairly fast, like it's sufficiently fast. I can speed it up by raising the spring, and I might try that in a different video. But next, let's have a look at the speed bag. All right, let's see how this is going to go. Okay, so I've switched it over to the speed bag. Let's see what this feels like. It still feels a little bit sluggish, so perhaps this section needs to be shorter, lift the spring, or use a bigger spring, like a 40 kilo, or maybe even a uh, 60 kilo spring. But, you know what? I actually do prefer, I do prefer this, simply because, well number one, it's lighter, so the reflex action is quicker but also because of this section here. Now I've tried putting a ball on there, like um, a bigger ball like this, like a soccer ball, but that was just way too slow. So I didn't even wanna bother filming it. So there you go, a speed bag, work in progress, but I do like the pool noodle. Now the speed bag it does cost more than a pool noodle. A pool noodle is just a dollar and these sort of sections are easy to make, so it makes sense to use it. I've also made this, which is an adapter, to go at the bottom so it'll raise the level and enable me to clamp it. So it's just a section of galvanized steel pipe with a coupling that allows me to screw it onto the bottom section of the pipe. And then I've got this part here, which is just PVC sections that I've used and I've glued them. This is a coupling to a, I think it's a one and a half inch PVC pipe. So this goes at the bottom, the spring will go in here, that'll raise the height of the spring, and then it also will allow me to raise the spring up and down with this clamp here. 
So that's actually drying, so I'm not using that at the moment because it needs to dry 24 hours, but I've just made it. And I'm gonna try that out, raise the, uh, raise the spring, see if that makes any difference. So yeah, stick around, there may be other sort of upgrades coming up. I'll see you guys next time.